What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. So by request guys, I'm going to show you how to install the dash cam V into your LSPDFR, okay? Now this was something that was requested by me today, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get on this and, and show you guys how it's done. I'm going to show you how to change your name within the dash cam and all that, whatever you want it to be changed to. But let's get into this, guys. Click that link there. It says dash cam V. It's going to bring you to this page right here, guys. Dash cam V 2.2.0. All right. Uh, and what we're going to do, uh, you guys can look at these screenshots here if you want. This is the one that uh, I actually have. If this is the one you guys want. Um, it's, actually a, it's actually a pretty cool dash cam. Um, but there are some pretty cool features to it just besides the dash cam. So there's another feature that's really cool. So go ahead and scroll down, guys, and click right here where it says download this file. Click that. Then click agree and download. All right. And if somebody can tell me how to get this settings thing off here, I would greatly appreciate it because it is driving me absolutely berserk. All right. And then we're going to click save as. Or you can click save, put it in your downloads folder, or click save as and put it where you like. I'm going to recommend you guys click save as. And go on to where it says this PC, click desktop, and then click save, okay? And it'll put it right on your desktop for you. So now that we got that, let's close out. And let's go ahead and pull up our Grand Theft Auto V main directory right here. All right, guys. And what we're going to do is double click on the dash cam V WinRAR or 7-zip or whatever you got. Now, there's two different types of agencies here that you can pick from. Uh, we'll do, we can do real agencies or lore friendly, which we're just going to do the real agencies. Um, so all you're going to do, guys, is you're going to double click on real agencies right here, okay? And then you're going to go over here to your main directory and double click on plugins. All right, now you can see I have mine installed right here. So this goes into your plugins folder. So don't worry about this file right here. Leave that file alone, okay? Just highlight the dash cam v.ini and the dash cam v.dll, okay? Highlight those both, drag them in your main directory, and drop them just like that, okay? Now, once you got that done, that's that's it to the installation, guys. I'm going to go in the game and show you how this works. All right? You're going to go come over in your plugins folder, and you're going to click this one right here. This is dash cam V uh, configuration settings. Double click that. And then let's get this window real big. All right, so now let me see where it is here real quick. i got to make sure where this is. Okay. So this is where I'm at right here, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Okay, so remote view toggle key, guys. Now, let me explain to you what that is. The remote toggle key is, for example, if you are outside of your vehicle and you're giving someone a citation, you got somebody pulled over, or you're ticketing an illegally parked vehicle and you want to view yourself from the dash cam, that's what this left control key and yours will say E that's what that's for now the reason i've changed mine from e to i is because when i ticket an illegally parked vehicle it just so happens to be left control e to put a ticket on that illegally parked vehicle so those two kind of clash so if you don't want them clashing and you don't want to go into your dash cam view every time you ticket an illegally parked vehicle then i would suggest changing this to whatever you want uh, I didn't have anything on my I key, so I just put the letter I. But whatever you change it to, guys, make sure it is a capital letter. It has to be capital, okay? Now that we got that, if you guys can see this part right here, all the way down, we're going to go all the way to the bottom with this, okay? Now if you see right here what it says Department of Criminal Justice. Now yours will say, it should say Los Angeles Police Department, I believe. Now if you just want to highlight that Los Angeles Police Department, and then type in something that you want, it will show up on your dash cam, okay? So what I done, the easy way I done it, I typed in Department of Criminal, Department of Criminal Justice, and then I highlighted it, right-clicked, and copied, and then I just went down through here and highlighted the other ones, and clicked Control-V and pasted my, my, what I typed in there, okay? So it's a pretty long list, but you guys, if you want to change it, you're going to change it in every department here, okay? All the way down to the bottom all right so type your name in one time there at the top on the first one and then highlight it like that right click and then copy 
and then the rest of these all you'll have to do is just highlight them and then click control V and it'll put your name in there for you okay so now that we got that guys um, assuming you've made changes click the file button and click save or click X and click save when prompted to okay and let's go back to our main directory and we always want to refresh that of course to put everything in its place close out of that guys and I will see you guys inside of LSPDFR okay guys so once we get inside the game here um, the way you're gonna go to your dash cam like when you're driving is you're gonna press your view button which would be V on the keyboard and select on your controller you're gonna go down to first person and then click it one more time and it'll take you to your dash cam just like that okay now as far as um, ticketing a vehicle or pulling somebody over and viewing yourself in your dash cam this is how you would do that let me pull over here real quick just for example we'll, so what we'll stop right here get their money back. They're and then we'll walk art, up here right? and stop this guy with stop the pad Damn, whatever. Wow. Hold up. all right now if i want to view myself like i change mine to i whatever you change yours to hit left control and then whatever key you change it to pick that and then see that guys it will actually and you can actually operate stop the pad from inside from where you're standing right there so if I want to say pat the guy down, you got that's gonna poke me, jab me, or stab me. Poke me, stick me, jab me, or stab me. Turn around real quick, man. And you can do all this stuff from just viewing from your dash cam, just like this. So it's pretty cool, guys. But that's pretty much it with your dash cam. Um, and then once you're done, if you want to exit back out of that dash cam, guys, just hit the left control and your key again that you picked. Exit back out, just like that. All right, man, take it easy. <laughs> Everybody get out of here. I'm sick of everybody's stuff. Get out of here. Get running. Alright, let's go, guys. But that's that's pretty much it with that, guys. Um, so, I mean, unless you want me to just go pull somebody over and use the dash cam. Uh, when I, I use it mostly, if you see, if you notice, guys, I use it mostly when I'm in high-speed pursuits. Um, so, that's when I use it the most. But it is a, it is a cool thing to have, guys. Uh, no doubt about that. It is really cool to have. But thank you guys for tuning in my video. I appreciate the love and support. Uh, I can't remember who requested this. Uh, but whoever it was, man, this this episode of Criminal Justice is dedicated to you, my man. So, guys, thank you so much for your love and support. Uh, I am almost to 4,500 subs, guys. I don't like much, and I will be at 4,500. That is my next go. And then we're on to 5K. Uh, so, guys, as always, my Google Docs will be in the description below. And uh, everything you need is in those Google Docs, LSPDFR tutorials, is, and right down to your LSPDFR main mods and all the essentials that come with it, guys. Thank you all so much. I love you with all my heart and my soul. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.